Today we're here to talk about, once again, the need that uh, the women of the United States of America want equal pay for equal work, and they want a fair shot at it. And they want the opportunity to get it, and they know they need help for their personal checkbooks. They need to have some changes in the federal law books. That's why we are working and fighting very hard for the Paycheck Fairness Bill. Finally, the Republicans look like they're going to give us the opportunity to come to the floor to discuss, debate, and actually vote on this bill. Women have been waiting over 40 years for fair pay since Congress passed the first Equal Pay Act in 1943. Time to hold the Republicans to their word and take up the bill and take American women seriously. Today is the first step to the debate and the discussion. We will be on the floor making our case about why we need this legislation. Now, some people say, didn't you settle this fight with the Lilly Ledbetter bill? The Lilly Ledbetter bill was the first step, but it can't keep be the only step. The Lilly Ledbetter bill kept the courthouse door open for women who are discriminated against, but it was just a down payment. The bill would have kept Lilly from suing to end employer incentives that make paying women less just the cost of doing business. The legislation before the Senate that we will be discussing is that women cannot be retaliated against for sharing information about wages. Can you imagine standing at the water cooler in any business in the United States of America, you can talk about any topic except how much money you earn. You can actually be punished, penalized, or even fired for discussing salaries. We want to end that discriminatory practice. Second, we want to make sure that employers won't be able to justify a woman paying less by exploited loopholes in equal pay that they've done too long. And women won't be limited to just back pay, they'll be able to seek punitive damages. What we do here is take the next step beyond really good better. The consequences of a pay gap are severe. When you graduate from school, often the very job, job that you make, you for women, for American women, they could be making less on day one. And that means you'll make less for the rest of that job. And then when you go to collect your Social Security, you will have less and so on. It is an impediment to our economy because every time a woman earns less for what she should be paid, it impacts buying a home. It impacts paying off her student loan. It impacts her being able to move ahead. Women are penalized continually. And after 40 years of this debate, we find that women still earn 70 cents for every dollar that men make. African-American women earn 64 cents. Hispanic women earn 54, 54 cents. So today, we are advocating that we need to pass the Paycheck Fairness Bill. It will be good for American women, ending discrimination. It will be great for American families. It will put more money in the federal checkbook. And it will be great for our economy because this money will be able to be used for people to buy the goods and services they need to keep the family going and our economy humming.